for stopping by with Stella Ruth on today. So on Stella Ruth today, what are we doing? I know I've been out for over a week, but I have been sick. And so I've been trying to get back better. Uh, I had the flu and then it turned into bronchitis and then it turned into house arrest. I mean bed rest. <laughs> so, but I'm better now and back and uh, still a little, you know, but I'm, I'm getting there. So now what are we doing today? Today we are going to do a, some pan fried trout and you will notice how we do it to where it's not too greasy and not too bad for you. And so we're doing some pan fried trout and I wanted to put something with that so we're making us some sauteed kale greens and some whole wheat pasta with lemon dill sauce. So let's stay tuned and see what's going on in the kitchen. Alright guys, so we're going to get started on our fish dinner here, our uh, crispy pan fried uh, flounder. But first, I have already put uh, the water on for our pasta, and today we're going to use some whole wheat pasta that I got at Sprouts. Uh, I usually like the spelt pasta because it's more like regular spaghetti, but we're going to use whole wheat today. And we're going to make that nice and open and up our flounder. Uh, this is frozen flounder. I could not find it like fresh, fresh, like I like it. So I bought it frozen. And it's like two fillets in a pack, which usually rakes up to like four. Because, of course, it's very soft fish. <clears throat> We've already thawed it out here. Let it thaw. It's very soft fish. So it usually breaks down the middle here and turns into four pieces. So before we dunk it, what we're going to do... And I say dunk, but I mean like lightly bread crusted. And we're going to put a little uh, seasoned, a little sea salt, a little herb sea salt, sorry. And that's the sea salt that I make, that I blend. And I'm going to put a little of my sunshine seasoning on it because it has some orange zest in it, which is a lovely on tilapia. And some turmeric, which is good for you. And then I'm going to sprinkle a little pepper, okay, on it. Now we're going to turn it over and do the same thing and season both sides. Go ahead and sprinkle the pepper since I have it in my hand. Okay, a little bit of herb sea salt and a little bit of my sunshine seasoning. I call it sunshine because it reminds me of a sunny day and this is what it looks like and if you want to know how to get it, we'll leave the link down below in the video. Now, <clears throat> what we're going to use today to bread it, and you can use breadcrumbs, which is good. Uh, you can use a little flour, uh, but of course, I think it gets the crispiest when you use cornmeal. But instead of cornmeal today, we're using some almond meal, almond flour meal. And um, what I do with mine is I take it and grind it a little bit more so that it can be nice and fine, which is what I did. And this is my result. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little of my sunshine seasoning and put some of that into the corn, in, I'm sorry, into the almond meal, my brain. <laughs> a little bit of the sea salt and a pinch of the pepper. There we go. I had to remember where I dropped it. Put it, put a pinch of pepper in there, mix it around. Okay, I've already got the oil on the oven on top of the stove heating up. And you don't deep fry this. You put just enough oil to brown both sides. And so I'm covering it generously because you want it to get nice and golden brown. Okay. All right. And then I'm going to put that back onto the plate. And then we're going to go ahead and bread the other one. And if you can, I don't know if you can hear it, but our pasta is boiling over there. And, um... The trick to good pasta, like I said, is putting a little oil in the water so that the pasta doesn't stick together. And when you're dealing with whole wheat pasta, it takes a little bit to flavor it really well. So you got to be careful. And we're gonna, I'm going to show you how to get some good flavors in there. So we're going to put that back on the plate. Then we're going to get over to the stove and get these pan fried. All right, our oil is nice and hot. We've turned it down to medium. Uh, so that it doesn't took, cook too quickly. I'm going to take this fish and we're just going to lay it over into the pan. And like I said, it's enough. Forgot that my tongs were a little wet. It's enough oil in there to where it doesn't like deep fry it. It just kind of pan fries it. 
don't want to put too much oil in it. So now I'm going to turn it over. Just a couple of minutes on each side. Because this fish is filleted already and thin, because the fish is filleted and thin, it doesn't uh, require too long for cooking. And the oil is nice and hot. See, nice and crispy, if you can see that. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that out, because that's ready. That didn't take long at all. Oop, if I can get it out of there. <laughs> there we go. Gonna put that on a plate. Then we're going to go ahead and put in our other piece. And like I said, notice we put the fire, we put it on high to get it hot. Once it got good and hot, what we do is put it, turn it down to medium so that the fish doesn't cook too, too fast, but it gets nice and crispy. And if you notice, I put it into the pan, but the oil doesn't completely cover the fish. That's a good thing because you don't want to deep fry, you just want to kind of pan fry it or pan sear it. Okay, now that our fish is done and our pasta's pretty done, what we're going to do is make, some, make our lemon dill sauce, um, lemon butter dill sauce. So first thing you're going to do is we're going to use a whole stick of vegan butter and the reason I'm using the whole stick is because some of it is going to go in my pasta and some of it is going to go on my fish um, <clears throat> my trusty spoon to break it up here and the fish looks absolutely delicious I'm going to pick a little piece and taste it oh, it tastes even better real good it didn't take but a minute to cook Okay, so that's melting down, and you're going to put your fire between low and medium because you don't want that butter, vegan butter, margarine, or whatever you use to cook too fast. While that's melting down, we're going to put a little bit of minced garlic in. That's roughly about two cloves of garlic. Okay, now we're going to make this nice and herby. So, first thing we're going to do is, uh, I've taken a couple of tweaks of um, dill, and we're going to put that in. It's actually about a tablespoon and a half of dill. I'm going to sprinkle that in on top and see if I can get zoomed in some so you can see more. Oops. Okay. And then we're taking a couple of teaspoons of chopped fresh parsley, Italian parsley, flat leaf, putting that in, and then we're going to let that simmer together, I'm going to turn the fire up just a little bit, and we're going to let that simmer together while I get the um, lemon juice ready. Alright, so it's melting down here really well, smelling lovely, and I'm going to take some spring onions that I've chopped just two, that I chopped the green part off of, and I'm going to incorporate that in. Nice. I cut my fire up to medium. Now I'm going to take the juice of a lemon and I've already cut it in half. Put it in my little squeezer here. Then I'm going to squeeze the lemon juice in. There we go. And we're going to, instead of just a half a lemon, we're going to use a whole lemon because we're bold like that. <laughs> All right. And then I'm going to put that lemon to the side that I squeeze. I'm not going to get rid of it because it has other, you can use it for other things. And we'll talk about that one day. So now I'm going to turn this fire up just a tad because I want that to go ahead and simmer together okay and while that's trying to simmer we're going to get some capers okay 
we go. Small jar, cost me a couple of bucks. And I'm going to take my little spoon. I'm going to take a couple of teaspoons of capers and put that down in there. Now, <clears throat> as that starts to bubble, uh, simmer, normally what I would do is add maybe a little goat cheese, but I'm going to do something a little different today because I kind of want it to be a little creamy. So I'm going to cut the fire up and then we're going to add something nice. Now it's simmering. So we're going to take two ounces of Nuff to Chell's cheese. I don't know how to say it. It's like cream cheese. It's in the same section as the cream cheese. It starts with an N and it, but it's got a third less fat. Sorry for the outside noise. <laughs> and so, taking a little bit of that. And we're going to melt that over in there. And there we go. And it's a, you know, the nut to chill, I don't know how to say it, cheese, is a very good substitution for cream cheese, guys. If you like me, I like bagels with cream cheese on it. But I like to take some cream cheese and do some fancy stuff with it. This is a good uh, substitution. And it has a, a less fat. And you know, a little better for you. And see how it's turning white? It's getting nice and creamy. And this keeps me from putting heavy cream in this. You know. Um, and sometimes you can use almond milk to make it a little creamy, but it just doesn't give me that oomph I like. So now that this is melting down, it's looking good. It smells absolutely delicious. What I'm going to do, and if you notice, I didn't put any salt or the sea salt or pepper or anything like that in it. Because all of those herbs and the capers and the lemon, that did the trick for me. I don't need to put anything else in it. So now that it's all melted down, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this and pour it out because I'm, I'm going to put a little in a cup. See, have my little, just a little bit, but I'm going to leave the rest in here because now I'm going to take my pasta and drop it over in there. And then I want to toss my pasta around in it. It's going to be so good. Now, at this point, if you want to, you can put a little sea salt or pepper in it, a little extra oregano or something like that. But me personally, I find that I don't need it. Okay, so you're going to let that simmer on low heat for roughly about four minutes, three or four minutes. It's got the capers in it. It looks so good. Then we're going to, now we're going to go back over and get our stuff that we have for our sauteed kale and we're going to get our kale ready. All right, if I can get this camera to do right here. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and plate up our food here. So our fish came out really, really well. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a piece onto the plate and I'm gonna save the other piece for myself for later. Because my husband's not going to eat fish. I had to make him something else, some chicken, to go on his because he can't eat fish. And then here's our lovely pasta, which is all wheat, whole wheat pasta, which looks really, really good. And what I'm going to do with my pasta is I am going to actually sprinkle just a little bit of fresh cracked pepper on top. Give it a little extra oomph. And then, here we go with our sauteed kale that looks absolutely beautiful. It's still nice and green. There we go. And the trick with sauteing veggies, guys, is don't saute all the nutrients out. If it looks dull, then you just sauteed it too much. See how nice and green that is? 
That's what you want right there. Let me see if I can get close. There we go. That's what you want, that nice greenness. Then we're gonna take our sauce that we put in the thing, put in a little container for our fish. And we're just gonna pour a little of that over the fish and it looks lovely. And then I'm gonna pour a little extra on my pasta. And bon appetit, food is ready. <laughs> Alrighty, my darlings, there we have it. We made us some pan fried trout with some whole wheat pasta and some lemon dill sauce and some sauteed kale greens. That's gonna be that's absolutely delicious. We made a nice light meal, was really healthy, healthy, excuse me, and really filling. And if you notice, we did we made a few changes just to kind of switch it up a little bit and make it just a little bit healthier for us. So instead of using cornmeal to fry our fish, we used some almond meal to fry our fish. And we sauteed our, our kale greens instead of dumping them in water with some fats and all that kind of stuff. And we used whole wheat pasta instead of regular pasta, which is better for us. So, I really hope you enjoyed this video and enjoy this recipe. I promise you, if you give it a try, you're not going to be disappointed. If you like to see how to get some of our signature seasonings, if you drop down to the comment box below, our website, StellaRoof.net, is down there. If you go to the website, you will see the wide variety of wonderful, delicious things. The holidays are coming, guys. Get ready for your greens, beans, potatoes, tomatoes, chicken. Yeah, all that. <laughs> Give your food a chance and good flavor. I'm just trying to tell you. Now, if you haven't already done it, pay me no mind. I'm just kind of trying to get back to being me. If you haven't done it already, go ahead and hit our subscribe button and subscribe to our channel. We love to have new families, new family members. I love family members. I love everybody. So, you know, new family members. Go ahead and give us a thumbs up if you like what you saw and share this video with someone who may be looking for some different ideas for some recipes. Nothing wrong with sharing. And if you and I thank you. I've already talked about the seasonings. I'm sorry <laughs> for allowing me into your life a few minutes at a time a day. I appreciate you guys as always. I love you, love you, love you. God bless you and happy.